let's try to solve these problems multiply the following so let's start with 1 x plus y quantity squared so if we have a square of a binomial two terms this is actually a special product wherein you can apply the pattern which is equal to the square of the first term x squared plus 2 times the product of the first and the second term x and y then plus the square of the second term y so we have y squared so this is the final answer for number 2 we have x minus 2 quantity squared so first we can rewrite this as x plus negative 2 quantity squared because positive of negative 2 it's just the same as negative 2 and then we can apply the shortcut so we can square the first so we have x squared plus 2 times the product of the first term x times the second term negative 2 then plus the square of the second term negative 2 so we have negative 2 quantity squared so simplifying we have x squared plus 2 times x times negative 2 that's negative 4x right then plus the square of negative 2 so that's negative 2 times negative 2 or positive 4 so this is the final answer for number 3 we have 2x plus 3 quantity squared so again applying the shortcut for the square of a binomial so let's square the first term 2x so we have 2x quantity squared then plus 2 times the product of the first term 2x times the product of the second term 3. Then plus the square of the second term 3. So we have 3 squared. Simplifying we will have so 2x quantity squared it means 2x times 2x. Right? So 2 times 2 that's 4. Then x times x that will be x squared. So for the first term we have. 4x squared. For the second term, let's multiply 2 times 2x times 3. So 2 times 2, 4 times 3, 12. So we have positive 12 times x. Then plus 3 squared. So 3 times 3 or 9. So this is the final answer. For number 4, we have 4x squared minus 3y cubed quantity squared. So again, so we have the square of the first term 4x squared so 4x squared quantity squared plus 2 times the product of the first term 4x squared times the second term it should be negative 3y cubed then plus the square of the second term negative 3y cubed so we have negative 3y cubed quantity squared. And then let's simplify. So 4x squared quantity squared. So again, that's equal to 4x squared times 4x squared. So multiply 4 times 4, that's 16. Then x squared times x squared. So copy the base x and add the exponents 2 plus 2 or 4. So the first term is 16x to the 4th. Next, for the second term, we have... 2 times 4x squared times negative 3y cubed. So, let's multiply the coefficients first. So, 2 times 4, 8. Then, times negative 3, negative 24. And then, just copy the variables x squared and y cubed. Lastly, for negative 3y cubed squared. So, it's equal to negative 3y cubed times negative 3y cubed. So, multiply negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. Then y cube times y cube, so copy the base y and add the exponents 3 plus 3 or 6. So therefore, the last term is positive 9y to the 6th. So this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to solve this problem and just comment your answers.